So unusually for this video, uh, I'm in my garden at my table. Um, I just didn't think to do a video of this in the field, but actually, hello. <laughs> actually, it is quite interesting. Um, so I thought that I would give you uh, a video anyway. We've brought them home. Um, as many people who follow me know, I think I've mentioned it before, uh, we home educate. So we we do quite a lot of our, yeah, it's a witch's egg, isn't it? We do quite a lot of our educational kind of activities outside and as part of our our lifestyle, um, just by virtue of that being something that we do that's normal in our family. Um, but sometimes we decide to do a fun project. So at the moment, Wee. these are in season Wee. here, and we've been collecting them Wee. and bringing them home and planting them in Wee. pots. Um, and I do actually have a, a slightly over mature one that I can show you in a moment. Um, Wee. Because Wee. it's hey, Annie. Wee. Um, because it's uh, a really fun project. You can look at the whole lifestyle, so you can watch them go from from this stage, um, and slowly, slowly they kind of change shape, and you can see different elements to them. And eventually, um, the mushroom that these are the immature Hello. form of will. Um, will burst out of the top and grow and then you get to to see how it reproduces Hello. as well because uh phallus Hello, species kitty. darling i'm making a video the kitty. yeah the kitty um phallus species are, are quite different from a lot of fungi in that they don't have gills or paws or spines they produce a very smelly spore liquid um kind of like a slime sweetie be quiet <laughs> uh, and it attracts flies and the flies will pick up the spores and distribute them elsewhere um, so that's quite uh, an interesting thing for the kids to be learning um, but one of the things that people often ask is how we identify them at this stage because they look a lot like uh, things like yeah like puff balls or earth balls yeah witch's egg uh, which is its common name in this stage, which is egg. Um, and people often uh, worry they're going to misidentify them with puffballs or earth balls, um, or more worryingly, young Amanita, because um, Amanita species often start in a little egg that they burst out of, and that's what forms the, the saccate vulva, um, and that vulva sac stays on the bottom of the mushroom and looks like a kind of wobbly egg after they've hatched. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to do what I, I came here to show you. I'm going to get a big knife, only because it's the first one that came to hand in my kitchen. And, oh, sweetie, be careful, please. And we're going to slice all the way through the middle of this. Lovely cross section, look at that. So you can see that once you've got this open um, and you're looking at the, the structures inside it, it's actually really, really obvious what it is. Um, this is an edible mushroom. This part in the middle is edible. Um, some people will just eat the whole thing. I only like the white piece in the middle. It tastes... Yeah, you want to have a look? It tastes like radishes. <laughs> actually smells really radishy they now that I'm sitting here I can smell it. but it's they got this layer of do. they do yeah it's got this layer of jelly that protects the, the mushroom as it's forming inside and then importantly to identify it at this stage it's got this dark green brown uh, underneath the jelly and then the core is white um, if it was a baby Amanita it would have no jelly yeah um, and it would it have a, the full structure. It you, was a baby. Yeah, it was. Shush now. Uh, it would have the full uh, structure of uh, an Amanita mushroom inside. So it would have a stem and a cap and gills that you'd be able to see if you cut it in cross section. Um, if it was a puffball, uh, if it was still young, Wait. it would be... Uh, I am holding. If, if it was still young, it would be... Um, white inside if it was older it would be yellow uh, or going greenish yeah i rescued you um if it was an earth ball it would be uh purpley from quite early on from even when they're quite immature they have a bit of purple in the middle um 
And that's how we identify our witch's egg. Was it a baby? It was a baby, baby mushroom. Um, I'm not going to take a big bite of this right now. Uh, a friend on Facebook who is a an admin on the poisons team with me has a great video of her eating a great big bite out of a witch's egg. Uh, so I will direct uh, you to Vern Stothers if you want to see that happen. Um, and I'm just, before I go, I'm just going to show you what they look like when they've matured a little bit. So we have this, which is our last project that we bought home. And you can see where the egg has burst open this great big long, kind of almost honeycombing texture. Um, <laughs> sorry, my, my assistant is really having a lot of fun because he knows that I'm occupied. Um, and then at the top, on the cap, on the, the end, you can really see the, the spore bearing kind of slimy liquid. And this often has flies on it. Um, some people find the smell of these really offensive and I I occasionally get a waft but it really really doesn't seem to affect me in the same way as it does a lot of people um, so I can happily sit here with this but a lot of people smell them before they see them um, so yeah that's two different stages of stinkhorn um, do like and subscribe I really appreciate it when people do that um, do also uh, feel free if you're was it, a baby? it was a baby yeah if you're enjoying the content and uh, you want to contribute to the free content that I make, I've got a buy me a coffee, which will be linked in the description below. And oh, and if you're in Sussex in the UK or able to travel there, do uh, get in touch. Uh, I'll put links to my Facebook um, and you can come on a course without my assistant, different assistant on the courses <laughs> and enjoy your foraging, even if it is in your back garden.